Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to create variations of the same sound very quickly within Reaper using a feature in resample on Matic 5000 called Lists. I have already routed the virtual MIDI keyboard to a blank track. You can however use any MIDI input for this. So we'll go ahead and add resample on Matic 5000 as a plugin on the track. We're not going to browse for a sample but instead hit this list button which appears to do nothing. But if we go into the file browser where I've got a bunch of individual samples of some vegetables being cut, what we can do is select all of these files and drag and drop them onto resample omatic And you'll notice that it's imported all of them. And a cool thing about resample omatic 5000 is that it would pick which sample of this list to play based on the MIDI velocity. So the first in the list will be triggered by the most quietest MIDI velocity and it's spread out evenly to the last sample in the list which is triggered by the highest MIDI velocity. However, if I just play it on the virtual MIDI keyboard, it will keep playing the last file in the list. This is because the virtual MIDI keyboard only outputs at full velocity. We can add Reaper's built-in MIDI tool plugin, which helps us with that. So we'll go ahead and find it in the plugin list and then drag it to the top of the plugin chain because we want to affect the velocity before it triggers an audio file in resample or Matic 5000. There's a lot of powerful controls to this plugin but we only need to care about random velocity which will set all the way to 100%. While we're here we can also change the random pitch of the MIDI note. So we will set that at 100% as well and that will allow us to create more variation to the sound later on. If we look back into resample or matic and I hit a note on the virtual MIDI keyboard, you can hear that it's randomly picking a different sound file from the list each time we press the key. Now we have it playing a random sample from our list, but we can go one step further and add some subtle pitch shifting. If we change the mode to freely configurable shifted, we can alter the pitch at start and pitch at end controls. The defaults are way too drastic for this purpose, so we'll scale that back to, let's say, 7 semitones. And if you remember, we've already set the MIDI tool plugin to pick a random note each time. So we can just keep pressing the same key and it will randomly pick a different sample from the list and play it at a slightly different pitch. And that's all there is to it, a really fast and simple way to make variations for a sound using only one MIDI key. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like it let me know and check out my other videos for more tips and tricks.